Y'all, you know from time to time, you'd be surprised who drop in at this race. And this week, we got filmmaker, producer extraordinaire, Marcus Head. What's up, my brother? How you What's doing, happening, man? man? Get a little closer to the mic for me. Hey, how you doing, brother? Marcus uh, Head, man. Good to see you, man. At, at, at the moment, he's doing a documentary on my boy, Ronaldo Ray. Yes, sir. Good yes, to read. Sir. Had to do it, man. I met Ronaldo in a hole in the wall. You know, Ronaldo loved him holding the wall. He clubs. did, man. He and did. And I met him, and I'll never forget, I was, you know, doing comedy, and after I got off stage, he, hey, you, young blood, come here. Come you know, he gripped the finger, and he, yeah. the finger. <laughs> he said, I like your showmanship, and I like your style, <laughs> but you need some hardcore material. <laughs> you get that shit right, I'll take you on the road with me. And you better believe I went and changed it, and he gave me a spot on the show. And we, that was him. We grew a friendship, and um, like I said, Ronaldo was one of the only people that can say that he was mentored by Red Fox and Richard Pryor and went on the road with them for over 15 years. I testified on the documentary today, man. It was five or six brothers that helped me back in the day because they were reluctant. They wouldn't help us. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't talk to us. And that's why I'll be trying to, like I said on document, I'll be trying to help the younger brothers now. But it's Ronaldo, them people, these people that were open to me with advice. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo Way, Ray, Richard Pryor, Paul Mooney, George Wallace, the only one that's still alive. Uh, How about Ricky John, Harris? John Witherspoon. Ricky Harris was with me, man. He wasn't, yeah, he, oh, okay. he wasn't old school. Same era. Oh, he wasn't old school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. No, he wasn't old school to me, but Ronaldo Ray, he was, he was open with with information and stuff. Rodney Winfield, if you could catch him sober, which I never <laughs> did, but he he was uh, friendly to me. But Richard Pryor, John Witherspoon, Paul Mooney, George Wallace, uh, them guys were free with information to me. And Ronaldo Ray, you know, he's always trying to get me to do cocaine. I'm just uh, telling you now, I wouldn't do it. But uh, <laughs> it was crazy. We had a good time. How once? Uh -huh. You know, it was crazy how I ended up ended up with the documentary because his um, I don't know how we touched base, but I talked to his grandson, and his grandson told me he wanted to do comedy, so he wanted me to kind of mentor him because you know I used to write for a lot of comedians, and we just developed a bond and. Then we just started talking about Ronaldo, and I said, you know what, I love I've written for a lot of comedians, too. They call it stealing. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I got paid for those, though. But uh, we just started talking, and then uh, I told her, you know, I, I said, you know what, I love Ronaldo, and I want to do a documentary. And I was amazed, brother. I mean, we have Cat Williams, Lunell, uh, Marla Gibbs will be narrating it, and mm. it's just the people that Master P called me and said he won't part. I love in. Marla and, and her daughter, Angela Gibbs. My yeah, friend. Angela's amazing. So it was just a mad, you know, it, it was easy, brother. I said Ronaldo's name, I'm doing a documentary, Joe Torrey, and, you know, and I'm, like I said, if I wouldn't be doing Ronaldo Ray, I'd probably be sitting down talking to you right now. Yeah, so, he was my man, man. Yeah, so, um, you know, I got to give a shout out to this gentleman sitting right here, Weight Ball. Aaron yeah. Young, uh, right. he's in my film, Can't Get Right, which is out on Tubi. Can't yeah. Get Right with a R I T E is past the right. Yeah. And his first uh, movie debut, and he did a phenomenal job. So I salute wow. you, brother. Well, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure for He got the body me. of a pastor. I, I do. I he do. definitely got the body of a can't get right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to spell right the wrong way, and then you find it, though. Don't try to spell it right. You got R I T E is the key. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wait, for wait, ball. He's making it around. Hey, uh, wait, ball. And man, he's in Sister JJ movie. Uh, yeah. He in another movie yeah, we got coming movie. up. It's a uh, improv comedy show like in Living Color called Live in Color. And it's got Rodney Perry, Coco Brown. Uh, we got K Dub. And uh, man, it's going to be nice. Uh, and we got a second season coming up with the mayor, Chris Thomas. And you got Bo P in the third season, then. Say it again. You got Bo P in the third season. You, he, he Bo Peep. Oh, he Bo Peep. That's Bo Peep. I Bo know Peep. you know who Bo Peep. That's Bo Peep. You know what? No. <laughs> now, now, brother, it's been so long. We actually did a show together. I know we did. And I just don't, re I just don't, re that. I just now realized he you because you had we, hair. He mentioned you when we were talking earlier. I had dreams then. You had hair I had dreams. when I yeah, saw dreams. you and you looked oh, a lot yeah, younger bro. and yeah. you didn't have glasses. Yeah. So, okay, now it's all coming to me. Okay. Yeah. He just got remarried, Marcus. Congratulations, Last brother. week, remarried, yeah. whatever the hell. And I brought, and I brought her home. Mean. Wait, remarried he to the same person? Yeah, yeah, to the same person. So you did, uh, who same else did woman. that? Sinbad did that. Same one. Yeah. 
And if you, hey, see, if you see her, you see it, wife, she don't look dumb or nothing. <laughs> nah, <right. laughs> no, no pre nap either. No pre nap. The thing is, when they first got married, he had her, and she he was like, if you really love me, you stay. I do one more time like this. I don't believe you but, still but, like me. But 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 did you know people who get prenup don't expect to stay married? Everybody got a prenup guy. No, divorce. anybody that go on a television show and they talking about their life and their marriage, it's going to be a divorce. It's going to be a divorce. Everybody that does it gets divorced. Yeah. Started with them, uh, Kanye and uh, Kim, and yeah. it just went downhill from there. Ray so, J and it, 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 it happens. Hey, Ray J earbuds don't sleep on those. Dollar one hundred nineteen dollars. I don't know about that. If you got that, if you got that kind of money, I can see where prenup. Because you just can't trust these hoes, man. But these hey, people, everybody who got a prenup, but everybody who got a prenup got divorced. Nobody but me. I can I can trust them. But I can come on. Man. But everybody got a prenup got divorced. Hey, huh? I got everybody get a shout who got out. a prenup got divorced because it was easy. Everybody without a prenup that wish they could get divorced. They like I'm gonna lose my whole ass if that I ain't get divorced. Regular people, regular people don't need no damn divorce. What, what the hell you, ain't you talking got about? Well, how we even get on that? We talking about both P getting married. Yeah, what, I don't what, know. What, I, I, that, so do you have dog? a prenup? I'm here to talk about who me, get, so I don't give a damn dog? about no prenup. Who, <laughs> who got to finish paying the lease? Yeah. yeah. But be like, I want my green egg. <laughs> bitch, I want my green egg. That's there my go. chap. That's my <laughs> chap, bitch. You, you, that's my chap. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting in that chap for 10 years. <laughs> so, so real quick, DC, if, I, if, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to talk about a new project that we have coming up. Uh, right. It's actually going to be a series uh, very similar to uh, N2D Power. And uh, Donnie Brasco is called Undercover Lover. Really? And uh, Damon, Damon Hall from Guy is going to be the lead. Tanisha Lynn. Uh, we're also going to have Louis Ramos. Uh, we're going to have uh, Pinky. Um, Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell. And Rodney Perry. Pinky Swear? Coco Brown. Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell. Oh, Pinky. Oh, okay. Yeah, I call him Pinky. Okay. And, uh, you Pinky know, like I said, Friday. I don't want to get too much away with it, but we work in some uh, distribution with a couple of places, but... Uh, we're going to start shooting it here in Atlanta in March. So, um, like I say, just imagine a crime drama series similar to power. Okay. And um, with an undercover female trying to bring down You know I'm Duke. a killer. You know I'm a killer. good, man. I'm proud of you, man. You know I'm a killer. You know I'm a killer. With a name like Bo Peep? Yeah, I'm a killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lil, yeah, his real name is Lil Bo Peep. <laughs> Lil Bo Peep. That's what his wife call him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Peep Peep Bo. <laughs> Lil Peep Peep Bo. <laughs> Bo Peep 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 Bo. As long as I get my star in row, you call me what you want to. <laughs> uh, but good over and all, though, man. It's, um, yeah, he was a good brother. Yeah, he's a good brother. And uh, y'all keep an eye out. I also have, um, I'm doing a documentary on Jada Jones. And um, that's going to be amazing for those on the know. Who is Jada Jones? Jada Jones was Myra J on the Tom Jordan Morning Show. And she was also. Wait you, a minute, wait a minute, if, wait a minute. If you guys remember. I know Myra J. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nigga. No, not Myra J. I'm sorry. Um, um, not Myra J. Um, what was the other? Li- Miss Dupree. She was oh, Miss right. Dupree. Miss Dupree. Right. I apologize. Dupree. Right. Yeah. And she also was in the movie uh, Talking Dirty After Dark. Yeah. She was yeah. John Weatherspoon's wife. Uh, 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 my boy was in that too. Uh, Winfield. Right, right, right. Rodney, Rodney Winfield. Winfield. Rodney Winfield. Talking cha, dirty. Cha, after cha. Dark. I got a picture of Rodney on a bike with the sailor hat on. Let me tell you my story, man. Uh-huh. So we did a show in Montgomery one night. We were there two nights. So the second day, we came down for breakfast. Rodney came down, had his sailor hat on, had on a night shirt. He slept in a nightgown. Yes. So he came downstairs in a nightgown <laughs> with his sailor hat, and he didn't have his teeth in his mouth. And when I tell you, I spit eggs up all over that table. <laughs> Why you didn't tell that story on the documentary? I, man, I just didn't think about man. it. It wasn't about him then. It was about Rodney. It was about, yeah, because we were talking about uh, Ronaldo. Oh, we, we Ronaldo. Actually, we're going to feature Rodney Winfield man. and Ronaldo. And Ron, and he came downstairs to breakfast at the hotel in that, in that nightgown. Nightgown and the cap. Same with the cap. cap on, but without his teeth in his mouth. Yeah. And I spit eggs up all over that damn table. I'm glad you said that. I didn't want people to think I made it up. Come on, man. I used to go on the road with Rodney. Rod- Rodney would make me go on the road because he needs somebody to drive him. Right. Mm-hmm. He could smoke it, you know, do right. what he do and mm-hmm. drink his vodka and cranberry. Mm-hmm. And, and he let and it man, cocaine. And when he said what he just said, I swear to God, Rodney would come downstairs to the breakfast. Then, in a little old gal. In a gown. With the hat. With the hat. That's hilarious. I saw Rodney fall off the stage one time <laughs> yes. at the Comedy Act Theater. <laughs> Onto the people's table, man. Yeah. And did not drop his drink. Right. 
and did not lose his hat. Yes. And knocked all the shit off the people too. <laughs> <laughs> and when he was in the rest home in Houston, and I did a show there in Houston, and who shows up? Rodney. DC, let me have a hundred dollars. What do you need a hundred dollars for, man? How you get out? I snuck out that motherfucker. Yeah. I just walked out. I said, what do you want a hundred dollars for? I want to get some cocaine. Yeah, sir. I said, no, I ain't getting no hundred dollars. I said, you want a drink? I'll buy you a drink. I don't want no damn drink. I want some cocaine. I said, well, you ain't going to get no cocaine. You're going to get Hennessy tonight, buddy. Yeah, Rodney would tell you. Rodney went for you. Rodney would tell you, give me a white woman, some vodka, some cranberry. I told you, boy. <laughs> I told and, you. And, and some cocaine. I told That's his pay. I'm I've seen you. some cats pay Rodney with cocaine. I know it, man. I've been on the road with Rodney like I that. I didn't want to go there because yeah. I was, you know, we were doing documentary on my boy Ronaldo yeah. Ray. I hope his wife don't see what I said. Yeah. But I went to the party. It, it was me, Ronaldo Ray, Rodney Winfield, and Cuba Gooden's daddy. He was being a man. Happy. Yeah. And man, you talking about cocaine. I never seen that much cocaine in my life. Right. Right, but I never would. I didn't fool with it, you know. I'm Me like, either. Man, I'm gonna I, have a drink. I did a show with Ronaldo Ray and Rodney Winfield, and I was in the back seat of the car. Yeah, and they were smoking. You know, I'm like, okay, it's all good. And then the hard stuff came out, and I said, God damn, I need to get out of this damn car. <laughs> yeah. I think I was 18 at the time, yeah. and I was like, I'm either going to jail or yeah, I'm going to die. This, and I was praying to God go? that they yeah. didn't ask me if I wanted some of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we did. We, we, we were at a party at Cooper Gooden Sr.'s house, right? It just a regular house. I mean, it was a nice house, but it wasn't no gated community. wasn't no gated house. Just an old man sitting on the porch, and he was a lookout man. And we was in there, man, just naked, white women, cocaine. I said, man, this ain't right now. Yeah. <laughs> I said, this is, this is too accessible, too. I said, this ain't right, man. I, said, I mean, I mean, just cocaine, they serving it on plates, man. The white women walking around with this <laughs> shit on, on plate, but naked, high yeah. heel, man. I said, man, I ain't never seen nothing like, you know, I was new to Hollywood. Hey. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Sound like that. a Rick James party to and me. I said, yeah. man, and it ain't gated or nothing. Just an old man sitting on the front porch rocking in a rocking chair. He was a lookout man. Mm -hmm. I said, man, let me get the hell out of here, man. Hey, Deez, I did a show in Denver, Colorado with uh, Ronaldo Ray, right? He was funny. So boy. everybody in the room knew this lady that sat up front. She come to all the shows, I assume. I, I didn't know. But she, she, she was wall eyed. You know, eyes yeah, went yeah, both yeah. ways. So all the other companies, we went up there. We saw it, but we didn't say nothing about it. Nigga, uh, uh, Ronaldo came out there drunk and high. Yeah. He looked at that woman and said, What you look at that wild eyed bitch? <laughs> <laughs> the whole crowd. They ain't pulling no punches now. The whole crowd started booing him and shit. They, they didn't like, give a damn. They walked out, you know, They didn't give a damn. Have, have y'all ever seen uh, Ronaldo in that uh, Cool Cups? Thing when he go and say, "Give me one of them cool cups." She said, "You too old for a cool cup." Y'all ain't seen. Okay, when the documentary come out, you gotta watch that. He cursing her out because she wouldn't give him a cool cup. And people don't know what a cool cup is. It's a icy in a cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow cone, we call it. Snow cone. my man. Well, congratulations on the congratulations on the now. Have you sold it yet, or do you know where we're gonna be able to watch it, or any of your other projects that? Uh, well, I have a relationship we with uh, Tubi, but we are looking for, like I said, I can't say the names because we're in negotiations. But we, with Cat Williams and Lunell, and um, you know, I'm trying to be the first person to say this on um, broadcast. But we have Sinbad, and we have the uh, interview with Sinbad. Yeah, so with all those stars that. and the connections, you know, we're not worried about distribution because and, since you and we got DC Curry on there now. So since you mentioned it though, let me throw this out there. Okay. Me, DL Hughley, Lavelle Crawford, Earthquake, Jandy Brown, we did a benefit show and gave okay. Sinbad family a hundred and fifty something thousand. That's what's up. That's all right. Shout out to the Sinbad family. That. That's about the only thing I'm That's proud good. of. That's good. That's good, man. You said hundred and fifty thousand? Wow. And real quick, he's doing very well. Tennessee. He's um doing very well. I saw no, no, show him no, he, no, he's not doing no, very well. No, when I say doing well, he's alive. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's, alive. okay. <laughs> he's in a wheelchair, but he's alive <laughs> and he's he's very conscious. He's though. not doing very well. <laughs> well, <his son>, <laughs> well. See why you gotta do that. His son <laughs> I'm just saying that my man. 
Right. But he's not doing very well. What's, he's in good shape for yeah. the shape he's in. Yeah, it's time to post a video. Oh, he's in good spirit. You just well. downgraded yeah. Sinbad from doing all right to damn. Uh, I got God bless him. I'm hey, I'm working on doing his documentary, so I'm about, yeah. I mean, let me. Sinbad, if you're watching this. Live, and, uh, his brother, my man. Mark. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you Mark. know, uh, Sinbad's real name, David Atkins. Yeah. I. I ain't gonna say I started doing comedy because of Sinbad, because, but when I my Sinbad. first experience yeah. of comedy was Sinbad, because literally I had a single mama and me and my brother she raised us, and we literally she had the only TV in her bedroom, there wasn't no TV that was before everybody had their own TV. The only TV was in her bedroom. You was gonna watch TV. You was gonna watch it with her. Whatever she watched. We used watched. to watch. No, nah, we watched Michael Jordan mm -hmm. beat uh, the Detroit Pistons. We watched all of that growing up. But we watched it in my mama room. Right. Okay. And on a VCR you, tape, you must not have been the size you are now. <laughs> no, I was much smaller. I can sit on the air. I can sit on the floor. I can sit on the floor Indian style. You know, the last time I crossed these legs. I was just legs, about to say, did, did your mama have her house coat on? No, nah, who, who, who done <laughs> sat Indian style was lately? It, was I it can't. California see. King. No, it was a regular <laughs> oh, something. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know. But a VCR tape from the grocery store. Mm -hmm. You know, the grocery stores back in the day used to have a rental VCR section. You ain't that old. Stop. Yes, yes. We, Stop. Uh, I watch Afros and Bell Bottoms with yes. my mama on the One side of, the of her bed. Yes, yes. On a VCR tape from the... And that, don't you run! Oh, my God. I'm talking about that was the ass whooping I stayed in right. my that's whole a, life. So. That's another nigga. Okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Shout you out to Sinbad. You watch no porno in your mama's bedroom, didn't you? No, nah, I had to get my own TV to get the porno. <laughs> I, had, I got my own TV and my own yeah. VCR about when yeah, I was 17. He had to wait the cable come out yeah. 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 No, no, nah, nah, we never had cable. It was always on the VCR. But I'm, I'm with you, brother, because yeah. Sinbad and Bill Cosby was the only two Comedians, I can watch it, you know, because they didn't curse, you know. So yeah. I would, you know, we would sneak nah. the Richard Pryor. Nah, you we call me when you get ready to do Sinbad thing. Okay. I had I had a long conversation with Sinbad one time, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I don't know if he mind me saying it or not. Don't do him like that now. Nah. Don't do. No, him. no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love that family. I know you do too. Don't do I him do like too. that. Okay. Sinbad says. Some of the worst advice he ever got was from Bill Cosby to not curse. The mm. Richard Pryor thing, huh? <laughs> he said he, he I mean, would have made a curse. whole lot more money. Really? Right. And, and uh, you know, I'm not buzzing this bubble because Sinbad, my man. Yeah. But in real life, Sinbad will cuss your ass the fuck out. Sim <laughs> yeah. said, still tell the jokes. And he t all he talk about when he used to play basketball, he said he could still shoot the jumper from six feet in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Sinbad was very talented, played guitar. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but yeah, he said, DC, he said, that was the worst advice I ever took. Sinbad was one of the first said, comedians I, I, to play I, an I, instrument I, I and a band behind him yeah. when he was performing. You yeah. know, he kind of revolutionized that. Yeah. You know. And that, that, that viewpoint that he had was solely based on money. It wasn't based on, like, if he knew all the young comics of these new generations that solely got hooked on comedy based on you having clean comedy. Like, I didn't have cable. But, you know, we didn't I, have I, all I that. I agree with that concept of clean comedy. What the fuck clean comedy? No, just, I, just know, that you can have comedy that you can watch with your parents and your parents don't, don't feel like they can rub I'm man. with you. I don't like that Christian comedy because people at the church know. curse too. Curse too. You, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm a Christian. I, look here, man. Cause my ass oh, Listen, shit. I've done a whole bunch of church shows and they know, they see me what I do and they still book me. I've done one. Yeah, and if, I, if I can do a show back I in the day where Akatunde and Akatunde curse, yeah. then I know that God is gonna yeah. let a few things slide. I did one, DC. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to be. I, I was just. I was sweating in. That was about six months ago. I was yeah. in St. Louis, and a boy I went to school with, Freddie Clark, got a mega church now. Yeah. I'm on fifteen, twenty thousand members, and uh, Richard was with me. You know, I, I was sweating, boy, and yeah. I, I'm ten thousand show deep. Yeah, I'm like, I ain't never. I told Fred, I said, I don't want to. He said, I said, is that the church? No, I was at risk called. He said, DC, I got a band, and everything. It's just gonna be a good thing. It's his thirty year anniversary. Yeah, and I went and did it, man, and uh, I only slipped up two or three times. Yeah, okay. I, I, <laughs> two got, or three times. I got a pastor out of well, Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. He books me every year for his pastor anniversary. Yeah, and he knows I speak like I speak, and he said, yeah. Come do you. Yeah. He said me every time. Don't worry about that. Come do you. Yeah. Every year, I and do then it. Uh, you know, use some common sense. Yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah, some yeah. shit. Yeah. I love right. doing. I love you doing know, uh, no, them no uh, churches. Right, right, right. But now, I mean, them dams and ass and, 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 and shit. Yeah. that was. I was well, damn and ass is in the Bible. I'll shit, maybe not. 
And I'll be rallying and next year, though, but I ain't, you know. Fluently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Christian say it fluently. They I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm a Christian. You a Christian? Well, you know, some of the smartest people on earth cuss. Use curse words. So, you know, you put, you know, people who curse, you know, we smart. Cheryl Underwood say fuck is, is uh, something under consent of the king. Freaking under the consent of the king. That was Cheryl Underwood. Oh. Say, if you believe in Cheryl yeah. Underwood. Right. <laughs> Freaking. The gospel of Cheryl, Cheryl, right. Freaking Freaking Cheryl Underwood. Freaking under the You know, I got a story about, I'm not going to share it, but I, I'll tell you out the air. I got a, about Cheryl. Come on, man. Oh, we all family here, man. I got a story about Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> I never forget. I was in the comedy club. Uh-oh. And she was thinking about quitting. Yeah. She was like, I don't want to do this no more, you know, and, you know, I can't pay my bills, you know, I'm about to be homeless. And i never forget. And and I'm sure she remembered this. Maybe she won't. But I told her, just keep doing it. Don't stop. Yeah. And I gave her $10. And I ain't got that $10 back yet. But, but what did you get for the $10? <laughs> <laughs> but the story, the story is she was about to quit and look at her now. So uh, the story to this, the moral to the story, quote my friend Tyler Craig is: don't ever give up, and always just talk to people. Man. Talk to people about what's going on, and you, you know never know I, when that angel is there for you. You to know who I've speak talked to that been in that same situation predicament. This is gonna shock you. Mike Epps, okay, was gonna quit. Okay, Dave Chappelle. Mm. We're going to quit. Okay. I've had that same similar conversation. Mike Evans, I'm like, man, just just stay in there because you likable. Right. You know. Okay. You wow, that's deep. Yeah, you can be the Yeah, I mean, the stories that we are as comics that we go through, and like yeah. I said, you know, I did shows with you, and, you know, I did shows with nah, you. Now, you know, this guy, Bo P, I said, hey, man, just quit, man. <laughs> Hey, he's like, quit, quit and kill yourself. Quit no, you ain't had to, to kill yourself. yourself. I ain't heard that in a one. long time. <laughs> quit quit and kill going. yourself. That yeah. used to be the comics yeah. lingo. Yeah. Because nah, after bro. you got off stage and your set was bad, don't go over there and sit oh, back and be right. comedians. No, you better not take Comedy your ass over there. Comedy Theater was a long club, man. And when you did good, all the comics be lined up because you had to walk through the middle of the building to get to the back. Everybody be slapping you back. When you did bad and you get to the back, <laughs> nobody there. Nobody there to touch you. <laughs> nobody, man. Say them, them comics, they were just dis, dis, dis yes, sir. Man. And, and don't they be on a show and you do bad in the dirty south there. Oh, no. So you get your hilarious, <laughs> unhilarious <laughs> ass away right. from me, nigga. She used to come on with, with us, man. Man, Dirty South. Then nobody want to go on she after her. She was my television show. Yeah, Dirty South. Me and Listen, Dirty was about to do a, um, you know, she's in my movie, and we couldn't use the clips for the movie because the audio guy didn't press record. Oh, shit. So we still got all those kids. We're going to voice it over. And yeah. I'm actually doing the um, Dirty South documentary. Um, her oh, she's brother, my TV show, man. Her son uh, gave me the rights to uh, do it. So we're looking forward wow. to that. Wow. Really? And I really hate that Dirty passed because Dirty and I was about to do a children's book called Tanita's Camp. Really? You know, that's that why you name. hate she passed? Yeah. Uh, Say again? I said, really? That's why you hate she passed? Cause no, she I didn't say that. Dude. I that, said that I exactly hate. What you See, said. this is the second time he done did this. This is the second time he done did this. Take money out of your pocket. That's why you This is the second. No, don't, don't, man. Dirty, dirty was my best friend for 20 years. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. Is that why you hate she passed? Don't do that. But we was about to do a book called Tinea's Camp where she was going to talk to the ladies about respecting themselves. Yeah. And uh, we still gonna do it, but um, she was a gem, man. And the people yeah, that man. didn't know Dirty, Dirty had a big heart. And Dirty, if if you wasn't funny, don't sit next to it. I'm gonna say I, this: go ahead. people don't know that, but I started comedy in Oakland, California. Yeah. Okay, Lunell was this Lunell in Dirty South. Yeah. Life was just a life. Yeah, Lunell was living that type of life before she got to where she is now. Okay. With she the grandmother wild. raising her and everything. She was wild, open, just like Dirty was. Okay. But one minute she loved you, one minute she She's was cursing you out. out. Cursing you out. Yeah. And when yeah. Dirty got out of prison, the first place she came was the show me and Cat William was doing. She caught the Greyhound. <laughs> And me and her was on the same Greyhound. DC, you stupid. I'm stupid. Going to do a <laughs> show with Cat William. And she said, I just got out of jail today. I said, what? She, I just got out of prison today. I've been in prison five years. I mean, when she went in. Yeah, and she came out. She by the side of the weight bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she 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 was she was little. She was when, yeah. when she went in, she was the size of, of uh, Terrell. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. But we're gonna tell a beautiful story of her because, yeah. um, like I said, I'm uh, going to Monroe, Georgia, where she's born and raised, and I'm yeah. gonna interview her grandmother. 
Yeah. And her grandma's like 95. You better go to Monroe, but you better represent because it's yeah. all dirty. Monroe! Yeah. And you know, Dirty used to tell me she used to sell plums for 25 cents yeah. in, in high school. Yeah. You know, we used to sell suckers and candy, you know. Yeah. And uh, just a beautiful person, man. You're a beautiful and, person, man. I would help her sometime when yeah. she was through a rough time. Yeah. And she would start crying. Yes, I'd sir. be like, stop that shit. I don't want to yeah. hear that shit. She would cry at her heart. But I would, I would help her a little bit, you know. Yeah. A lot of people when don't I know could. Dirty South can cook. And she, yes, she can. She can cook. She I made. Know, she, I told I Dirty, if you could channel this I bipolar that, shit, I wouldn't, yeah. eat, I wouldn't eat nothing. <laughs> God bless you. I told Dirty, if you could channel <laughs> this bipolar <laughs> shit, 